Sanbonani, Sanbonani, everybody out there. This is the power of healing with Utabi Ungowe Ketelo. Uh, so today I'm just going to be explaining about uh, the consultation process, my consultation process and, uh, and how I go about doing things, okay? But before I start, guys, I just want to mention this. I got a message from uh, uh, one of the YouTubers or one of the viewers or who said to me, um, I must try and make my videos in English because uh, I'm reaching muscles and yeah and a lot of people are using english as their first language english is a universal language we all understand that guys i just want to mention this and not trying to offend anyone and not trying to seem or, or sound funny ungowet ketelo guys is 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 a old-fashioned ungowet ketelo is a very old-fashioned being Ungowe Ketelo is very rooted to custom traditions and culture. Ungowe Ketelo is about quality and not quantity. Because as much as we can say that uh, YouTube is, 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 is a global platform that people use to reach masses, guys, you have to understand some people are using YouTube and other social platforms just for entertainment. Not necessarily what we are we are all about okay i'm all about healing guys i'm not a youtuber guys please understand this i'm not a youtuber i'm a healer okay i spend 20 percent of my uh, oh, and other social platforms i and and i do 80 percent of healing because it will seem very uh, 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 pointless for me and unnecessary for me if I reach a million people or if I'm viewed by a million people and none of them is getting help. So I'm all about healing, guys. And the whole point of me, I've been healing for years, guys. I've been healing for years. Not only black, black Africans. I've been healing whites, Indians. I've been dealing with a lot of people. I've been helping a lot of people for the past few years. Now, for me, YouTube was just to reach out to some of my spiritual children because I can't be repeating some of the things. So Ukoko on Amaketa advised that uh, I, I, I do e -E -G -E -E YouTube or social platform. They actually allowed me to go into social platform. So it's easy to upload one video and all my spiritual children or all my spiritual, uh, uh, yeah, the people that I'm mentoring get the same content. So that is what YouTube is for me, guys. Um, the, what I'm doing is not a business, it's work. What I'm doing is, is giving a service or serving a purpose that I was called for. And I'm not, I, I, I've already chosen the site that I was. I'm not a people's pleaser in that way. Because people will mislead you into, into a, a losing focus. Okay. My focus is for people to be helped and healed. And as I've mentioned, it will be pointless if I can be viewed by a million people, but none of them is getting help or none of them is healing. So that is what I'm here for. And also you must understand English has no direct translation to some of the things we say in our languages, in our African languages. Like if I were to say now, uh, how, how do I say it in English? So, not that I'm disrespecting guys, but as I've said, Ungo Wekelo is very old-fashioned. And the Inzusa spirit in itself is ancient and as I've mentioned, very in terms of boundaries and, and, and how you go about doing things, guys. And I didn't get to being just by uh, 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 impressing guys I had to work I work my ancestors know or my spirit guides know that we work Ungo Ketelo is about work I work guys I want to work I'm not a routine person and I'm not a, a, a phone person most of the time I work okay 
so that's that guys i just wanted to clear that out because some of the things i really cannot say in english and i'm sorry for that if people feel that uh, i'm not reaching out to them sorry about that and i do appreciate each and every one of you do appreciate in every one of you and whatever that is being called to be healed by me will be healed by me abami bayaletwa abazizeli abami who are meant to be touched by these hands who are meant to drink uh, from this well they are called they are chosen uh, now let's get into things ne? yeah if only i'm is doing funny stuff but anyway so as you see yeah cut and all of that and i feel like if i go back and re-record it's going to lose <laughs> yeah ne? i will forget some of the things that i wanted to say but anyway um let's get into business now so guys um the consultation process guys and i did make a video about what a medium is because a lot of people don't understand how a medium works uh which is totally different to not that much different but different to uh isangoma uh, inyanga i th it's not that that much of a difference uh, in in terms of 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 the the calling but the processes each person has their own processes and there's a reason why and i like to give reasons to people so they understand why things are done that way so guys i've mentioned the medium is one person that is actually a bridge between the physical world and the spiritual world who conveys the messages between the two worlds because some of the things that your spirit guides or your ancestors might want to tell you, but they cannot uh, uh, convey the messages. So I have to convey the messages to you. I have to tell you what the signs I'm seeing, how they are reacting, the emotions and all of that. That's a medium. However, now, with being a medium, there's two uh, uh, ways in which we do things. One way is giving a message. Now, when we give a message, it's when a spirit will come through an unknown spirit uh or uh, yeah an unknown spirit will come through and say i want to give a message to a friend or as you going about doing your things and then you get a message uh, from a spirit that's come through to say give this person or the next person a message now that's a message because spirits always come through guys wherever you are whether shopping malls whether uh, uh, you entertain with a picnic, but if, if you are supposed to deliver a message, you deliver a message. And then now, after delivering a message, guys, that, that is free because the spirits came through and we all, we work, basically we work for them. We are trying to help them get their own peace. As much as I'm helping you get yours, I'm helping them get theirs. So, uh... That's a message, and, and it often happens everywhere, anyway, ha, anyhow. If they want to take you from one point to another just to tell the person a message, they do that. Now, a consultation is when you come to me. It's when now you reach out to me, and then, we, 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 and then you book a slot. Ne? So that's a consultation, and that's the difference. The consultation is when you come to me and you actually pay a fee, to to channel now with the consultation it's 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 we don't always channel a like there's a reason why we channel sometimes and i'll get to that but with the consultation guys um we set out appointments why do we set out appointments name uh we set out appointments because I want reason. Okay, guys. I said we we work for the spirit, uh, the spiritual realm, especially as, uh, realm as much as we work for the physical realm, or the the, the 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 ordinary reality or the physical world. Now, uh, when we book or when we set up a, a consultation appointments, you are actually giving me uh, a chance. I meet as soon as you say. Sis Tabi, I want to consult, and you, you confirm your booking. Immediately, guys, the spirits will either come through 
and they will explain everything themselves. So the reason why we set up appointment, I want to meet with your people first, your spiritual guides, your ancestral spirits, the, your spirit, the, your spiritual world, yours. I meet it with it first, and and I I see the type or the kind of family I'm dealing with, so that when you come, guys, we do prep, we prepare. For, for consultations, we don't just go about. Because I meet with them. Sometimes you get sick as a healer, right? And the reason why you get sick is because of how they have passed through this, they have passed uh, uh, on this world and uh, and how they died. And sometimes um, they, they they are not cleansed, yeah. They are not cleansed. So when... I, I I prepare, I meet with them first. So immediately the spirit that's going to come through, uh, if, if, if not cleansed, I will get sick and go through all those things and vomit and do everything. So when you come, so when you come, I'm okay. So what, what spirits do is that they, they when, 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 when they come through, guys, immediately they get into my space okay they can see i'm clean I'm, I'm clean and i come in peace so even if they make me sick i get through that maybe through the night i get through that as you come the next day i'm okay and i usually tell, tell my clients but you your people got me sick i actually almost because sometimes i you can you feel like you're almost dying so I meet with them. I meet with your chief, uh, your, your, your lead spirits. I meet with the chief spirits, if we have to call them that. So I feel who's there, what's happening, what's going on. They tell me. Sometimes they, I don't even have a see Because, guys, as soon as I ask, because in the process of, of, of consultation, as soon as you've booked and, and, and I've accepted the booking, uh, I ask for surnames, right? Your paternal and your maternal surname, and whichever, whichever other surname that you think would be important, or, or, or your, your, your marriage surname. Uh, now, I, I, I know who's coming forth, and they come through themselves. As soon as I call out their surnames, they come through, and they tell me a lot of things. Now, with spirits, uh, guys, uh, when I get the message when I'm doing prep and then as you come in, there's another spirit that comes forth again. It doesn't mean that one was wrong. So I usually say to you, I will tell you that, okay, now somebody is coming forth and whatever and whatever. But because there can be several spirit guides or, or, or ancestral or ancestors who, 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 who come through just to give you a message. Sometimes guys, they just want to give you a message. Sometimes it could be a colleague, it could be a friend that just comes through to give you a message while you're on consultation. So that's why we prepare. That's why we set up appointments. Uh, and then also, it, in my space, guys, whenever you say... Uh, Whenever you greet me on my on my WhatsApp, it will say it will give you an automatic reply. Most of, of, of the answers you get, especially with consultation processes and cleansing processes, and it's automated, guys. So don't think I'm ignoring you. As soon as you get the automatic reply, and then now you wait because you feel like I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring anyone. It's automated. The replies are automated, and. Um, then after some time i will respond and you can see that i'm responding but they are automated replies and guys please note when you set up an appointment i've often said spirits are short-tempered and spirits are impatient when you set up an appointment you've confirmed the appointment your day of appointment you become late you are throwing you you are actually uh, drawing the energy down. So the spirits already are here because the, uh, when we book, I've already told them when you're coming, what time. So when you don't pitch at the exact time, they withdraw the energy. Okay. And sometimes I cancel people, guys, because if you're going to come late, uh, then um, like 
they become like they withdraw and now i have to start channeling again so channeling guys it's when now because you get that you get people who book and then um as you get and, and nobody has come through now if nobody has come through then we have to channel them that's when that is why it's guys that is why because when when you channel you have to call call them towards your light using the the, the, the the client's name so that they understand because there's a lot of spirits surrounding you there's a lot of spirits that want to give a message and want to say something and want to tell their story so that is why we have to mention names and send them so that we understand who we are talking to and and, and they understand who we are uh, 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 who we are helping and which family we are helping at that moment because i'm just a light to them so whenever the light shines and they see the the, the waves or of the light or you know they come they come close so i have a good now call out to go to who am i looking for so that's how mediumship basically is guys now there's this thing that people do name and we, we always talk about uh, your spirit guides or your ancestors talking to you or giving you messages. People, will, will, people guys, if you, if you get that you go into YouTube, for instance, if you go into YouTube and you've got this attraction to a particular, a particular healer and something says to you, I need to consult with this person, like, guys, Please do so. Not me only, but if you, you, if you get the connection with the healer. They are giving you a message. Your ancestors are giving you a message. You seek to melala. Guys, how do you want them to give you a message? Because ancestors work with intuition. And I know I promise, but I'll get to it. Ancestors work with intuition. So if they send you someone, it's not necessarily that you'll see a point pointer or see or, or you'll see fly, a flying stuff on youtube or you'll see that uh, they actually want uh, you to give attention to this person but they will intuition and this is now we go get, get into a clear audience where a voice or some some kind of feeling which is a clear sentient will will tell you to man i need to consult with this person man this person can help me out man this person is actually making sense they are eh, 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 uh, 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 trying to connect you to this person because or they want to get attention uh, uh, your attention to this person because there's a message for you from them so we are normally as healers we are normally like a uh, 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 sort of like uh, uh, you are called to a, a healer you will be cho uh, your healer or your helper will be chosen for you and a lot of people will say God doesn't listen. God doesn't listen. God doesn't. Li God does listen. God knocks all the time. It's up to you whether you open a door or you don't open a door. But God, the God that I know, always knocks on your door. So then, if you don't use your intuition, and and I'll try and make a video of how to use your intuition or how to train yourself to to uh, understand your intuition better, but. They, that is exactly what we call the connection or what they, they are responding or they are actually saying, we are pointing you to the right direction. That is how they point you to the right direction, guys. It, you will never see an angel with halos and wings in your door saying, I'm coming to respond to you. It doesn't work like that. Okay? Uh, also, guys, Oh, please, 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 let your ancestors work for you. Don't work for them. Don't. So you guys, when you, when you, uh, when you send messages, ne? My, 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 I think the ideal message would be, uh, hi, sis Tabby, my name is so-and-so. I want to know about the consultation process or can you give me details about the consultation fee? That's my ideal message. You guys will send a message going about with your life. How then do you expect me to help you? Because immediately you have sent me your, your, all your life story. I can no longer, like, with, 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 with 
as healers, ne, you are you with you are actually taking away my energy towards helping you because what you are doing now is feeding me. So when you come to consult or the day of consultation comes, and then I tell you exactly what you've told me, then it becomes a lie, right? So as I'm saying, let your ancestors or the spirit guides or, or your your archangels or your tools, let them work. So just tell me what I want to know about the consultation. I want, because guys, do you know how fulfilling it is to tell somebody things that they thought they would never hear or things that they thought you don't know? So that excitement, that's the adrenaline that we get. That's the spirit. And we are actually seeing that these people are alive and working and whatever that I'm my calling and the spirit that's inside me is actually doing the work. I want to tell you from point A, because what you guys do is that uh, you are, you focus on one thing. You So you send me a message and say, Mina, I'm gifted. So I want to know about one, two, three. And in, 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 in total essence, the ancestors want to start from the beginning and get to your journey. And get, So when you say to me, I want just to know about the cleansing ritual, you are not giving them, you are focused on the cleansing ritual and only to find that your problem is not cleansing. Your problem is something else and not cleansing. So when you, you, when you focus on cleansing, then my energy will, will automatically focus on cleansing. But that's not... So that is why I don't listen to your voice notes and I don't read the whole message about what your problem is. I only focus on whether you want to, be, you want to consult or not. Because then you are taking the excitement away from me. You are taking, you are actually doing their work. Let them, even if you go to another hill, don't go about and talk. Yes, in mediumship, the, I say to people, mediumship is a conversation between you and, and your people, not me. Me, I'm just there to be a vessel to be used, you know, to convey the messages. But you are actually talking to your people. And I actually give people a chance to talk to their people. But, um... Now, when, so, 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 let them tell you about you. You know, it's very exciting, interesting when they tell you about you and they tell you your mistakes that you never thought they could see. or you, Because, hence I often say, in my space, there's no secret. So you might as well open up so that we help you. There's no secret because if you don't tell me, they tell me and I know. And once you're not saying it, I look at you as, as, as like you are lying and you are not saying what you're supposed to say. So let them work because we need them to, uh, to be awakened and we need them to work. We need them to work. We are not here to lazy about and just... For me, guys, it's really not about the money. It's really not about the fee. It's about the, the healing process and from beginning to end, how you get to be healed. So let them talk to me. Let them tell me. Let them tell me stories because those stories are very exciting. And as much as somebody else might hear them as fairy tales, for me they are very interesting. And, and, and spirits are very, have sense of humor, guys. They even sometimes have to, they dance if they have to dance just to validate to you. They dance, they would, they cry. That's the, that's the excitement I want. They cry, they go through emotions, they get angry, and now we have to uh, plea with them or beg them. And sometimes if you find that your space is quiet because there's reasons why they, they're quiet, we channel and in some cases I say to people, now we have to, to, to appease them or we have to plead with them or beg them. So we do a certain process or we, do, we, we bring an offering to say, okay, see, I call Lisa that we didn't uh, pay attention to you for, uh, for this particular time, but can we just please talk to us and tell us what's going on? That's the whole excitement about, about healing, guys. And that's the whole excitement about being a shaman, a medium, is because you want to, to, to see the interaction. I actually want to see healing in somebody's face. I don't just heal because then I talk to you, then it's, an, it's, 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 it's done. The, once, once the hour is done, then it's done. No, for me, I want to see healing as you go out my door. I want to see healing in your face. I want to see... Your, 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 your body language should tell me that you've healed. Because there's a, there's a way in which somebody comes in when they, they are sick and the way they go out as they have healed. That's what I want to see. That's the excitement. Uh, so, uh, as, as I'm saying, guys, also, um, 
there was something I wanted to touch on. Okay, the cleansing rituals. But there was something I wanted to say. The cleansing rituals, guys, I don't... You cannot come to me and say, Sis Tabby, uh, I was told to do a cleansing ritual. I don't start from just doing what you were told outside. If you were told outside, please do it with that healer because I don't know what they've seen. I don't know how they're going to do it. I, I do what I've seen and that is why all my cleansings, they have to start from me. They have to start from a consultation that you've done with me because I want to see from beginning to end and your ancestors or your spirit guides should tell me what should we use to cleanse you. So don't come and say somebody else said and I must, I, I don't work like that. And even with guys, even with Amapai, if you go uh, ancestral clothes, Clots, hey. If you're going to come and say, uh, they told me to use Amabaya, so, and unless you say, Sistabile, it was a dream or it was a vision, then I understand. But if you say, somebody else said I must use, who says, Tabile wants to, use, I want your ancestors to bring the Bai forth and tell me that this is the Bai, and because we are giving her Ibai or he, him Ibai because of one, two, three. That is how I work. I want them to show me. Because a lot of us, we think Sinedlozi, okay? And only to find Umutunes Tuna. So I want to see all of that. I want to cleanse you based on what... I have to get a reason why we are cleansing you. Why is it necessary for you to cleanse? What have you done? Why did you do it? And if there is some sort of reconcilia reconciliation from then, from them in that world to this, we reconcile first and we do things proper. I am all about doing things proper, guys. And yes, I, I might be seen as, I don't know, but uh, because I don't mean I'm not controlled by the waves and the wind and how it blows. I do what I'm doing because I love doing what I do. And also, I'm guided to doing what I do. So that is how I got to this, uh, uh, this, this stage of my life and how I got to be Umta Debao. I don't just do. Guys, because the whole world is doing it. I'm not a people's pleaser. I've never been. I do what is right and what is uh, correct and what has to be done. So when you do uh, 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 try to get into, like when you do want to set an appointment, please go, don't go about telling me the whole story. Yes, between, in between the conversation, then we can start saying, okay, so what have you done? Then you start telling, and then as as because I have to as you telling things, and as we talking, guys, as we having a conversation, I get validations, and a lot of in a lot of ways, and you don't even see that I'm actually getting by, by, by the, uh, validations. I tell you that you know, can you see what's going on with me? Or or I get reactions, and I sometimes tears come out, and it's not me, it's them. But that's what we want, validation and confirmations. And usually when you are on the right path and you're talking about something that they want you to focus on, they, they, have, uh, they use the candle to actually interact or connect or, or validate. So I want to see different things happening so that I know that we are on the right path. Okay? Yes, you, may, you confess as we go along or whatever, but... And, and now you start telling me, but let them start breaking out things first. Let, let them start uh, showing me things first, the signs, everything. Take me back. That's what we want. Okay? Because that's, I think that's the most interesting part in the, of, 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 of mediumship. You know? Telling you what hat they had, what hat they are wearing, the dress because they they like to show things that are important to them, like the dresses that they would love, the perfumes, the flowers. They show a lot of things, guys. They show a lot of things. So we need to understand them as much as they need to understand us, and we need to. You, you don't work. Uh, we we do. Faith, we work. Sorry, we work with them. So you cannot go to, because now, nah, but they want to show themselves, but we are active, we are here. And you, you, are, you as Tabi are actually being used to validate to this person, but we are here, we hear everything, we see everything. So if you go on about and tell me all these things, then 
then it won't be interesting for you. Then you would not see the point of consultation and you'd say people are not telling you anything because you, when you withdraw their energy of helping you by telling them. And guys, this thing of, of also trying to lie, I can tell that you're lying. I can, don't deny things. So I say to people, um, please don't agree with everything that I say. Don't agree with everything that I say. You have to tell me when you don't know anything. You say, I don't know this, or I don't know that, or I'm not familiar with that, or I'm not familiar with the spirit. So then I go back and, 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 and try to understand oh, who's coming forth, Kanja, and why. So, uh, but don't deny the truth because as you deny the truth, or sometimes you come here and you become quiet, you don't interact with them. They get impatient, they withdraw their energy. You leave, you become sick the, the following week and then you come back to me. How am I supposed to help you? Because I tried to help you, you didn't help yourself. Okay, so yeah, guys, that is my consultation process. Uh, please, my WhatsApp number, guys, is only, only for consultation appointments, for booking. Only, guys. Whatever that you want to ask, please ask on YouTube. Hence, I've said to you guys, you get automatic replies. Uh, please, 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 guys. It's only for messages. For only, only messages and voice notes. I understand that. But it's only for consultations, guys. Uh, because I'm working from Monday to Saturday at 10 to 4. I don't like to, uh, 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 to to be on the phone that much. So thanks a lot for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you do understand now. And going forth, you will do the right thing. Whether it's by me or somebody else. But you will do the right things in terms of consultation. Nyabong. <laughs>